today. I came here to collect those driftwood. The workers here gather driftwood that accumulates in the dam, and they let anyone come and take it for free. <laughs> Hi! Ipanea! So far, this is my favorite. I love this one. Okay, I am done going through this giant pile and I'm gonna start loading. Okay, let's go. Whew. Okay, <laughs> done loading. I can give you some chicken. <laughs> Here you go. I really had fun. Fast and sit belt. Let's go home. I came back with Rachel to get more driftwood and a used restaurant pot that I won on auction for 1500 yen. Okay. Yay. So this time it's a craft video. I'm going to make a bigger tank for my betta fish. First, I'm going to boil the driftwoods to sanitize them. Oh yes, it <laughs> It is not safe to use a stove like this, so please do not try this at home. <laughs> Hi kitties, I'm gonna go get a hose. I feel like in ramen shop order, making delicious broth, except I'm just boiling driftwood for sanitizing. <laughs> this is so fun. It's completely under the water, finally. I don't know if it's gonna sink, but at least I sanitized it. So I'm gonna start taking out the water. Please don't float. Please don't float. Please don't float. Ah! Excuse me, sir. How was your bath? I hope you're clean, like super clean. Hi, I got a local kitty. I already gave you breakfast. You so hungry? I can give you some more after I'm done cleaning. This is a uh, driftwood from a dam. Yeah, thank you for your emotional support. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, everything is set. Jumbi can do this. Right now the temperature is... Oh, it feels so nice. This is perfect for taking like going Monburo, taking a bath outside. Okay, I'm gonna wait for several hours. Temperature check. 86, almost boiling. Yes! 
Oh, this guy. This guy still floats. <laughs> He's a lot better than before. Yeah, I think I can just attach some weight and make him stay sink. Okay, good. It definitely helped. It looks like I'm about to grow shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> Remember these, buddy? <laughs> It's been about a month. Let's see how they're doing. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I actually expected the water to be a lot, lot darker, but this isn't bad at all. I'm gonna clean the surface with the brush a bit and then steam clean them outside. There are holes here and there. <laughs> this is fun. Done steaming. Next, I'm gonna start working on the tank. The first thing you want to do is find a tank that looks something like this. You want to take your dominant hand and slap it the fuck away, parents. It's done! <laughs> Chris said the tank should be at least 5 gallons for fish to be able to swim around. This one is 60 gallons, so I hope it's big enough. Next, light! Next, I'm gonna start figuring out where I want these driftwoods to be in the tank. And once I know, I'm gonna use the suction cups and keep them stay in the tank. <laughs> I might add some more thinner driftwood branches later, but for the base, I think this is how I want them to be. I need the suction cup, buddy. It looks really uncomfortable. Why are you on it? Where is it? Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cats and boxes. Next, I'm going to drill holes for the filter. There are many types of filter systems, which all have pros and cons. I decided to go with reverse flow and a gravel setup because it has a great filtration capacity, heating efficiency, and doesn't produce a strong current, which is friendly for beta fish. Nobody. Next, I'm going to put these filter material at the bottom of the tank. <laughs> Next, I'm going to place these garden sheets.
Stones can affect the hardness of aquarium water. Lava stones suit the plants I want, so I'll use these to help weigh down the driftwood. Some glue is not safe for fish, so be careful if you want to use it. Bacteria will colonize aquariums eventually, but I'm adding them manually to set up the tank more quickly. Beneficial bacteria break down fish waste, dead plant material, etc. to keep the water clean and safe. Next, preparing filter media. This external filter basically becomes a house for bacteria. Alright, moment of truth. I have no idea if the driftwood will float or not. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, the driftwood haven't floated yet, as expected. <laughs> Another cooking tool. Smells like rotten natto miso. Hey baby. Can I try sniffing it? <laughs> Next, I'm taking out the water to make it easy for planting. I'll put the water back when it's done. Next, I'm gonna start planting. <laughs> this part reminds me of helping my grandparents in their ice patties. Good times. That one is about a bloom. Fish has arrived. Say hi to new friends. Once they settle, they will become very beautiful blue fish. It is time. I have to introduce new fish and plants gradually until the bacteria colonies fully settle. Hey Thunder, sorry for the long wait. This is your new home. Thunder is around two and a half years old. A lot of people mistook him for female because of his short fins, but he's actually a male betta fish. Betta are known for being aggressive, but fortunately Thunder is pretty chill and doesn't mind his new tank mates. The caves underneath this trunk are one of his new favorite spots. Flaring is a good way to exercise bed offense. Since switching him to his new tank, he's become more active and has a bigger appetite. He has a lot more stimulation and places to explore and hide now. He definitely seems to be happier in this tank and I'm so happy. Rocket killies have orange tails, so they look like rockets blasting around a tank. You can see the air bubbles from plants photosynthesizing and creating oxygen. Thank you so much. You're amazing.
Food time. Whenever I come into the room, the fish gather at the front of the tank now, hoping for food. It's so cute. If the bacteria are doing their job, then they should be breaking down ammonia into nitrites, and then nitrates into nitrates, which I then remove through water changes. I got zero milligrams for all of these tests. It seems like bacteria are doing a good job. Water quality test. Pass. <laughs> I like seeing two of my projects right next to each other. Fish tank. And cut tower. He's a boy. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. This year I have a new series coming up and I'm really excited. I hope you guys will like it. See you guys later. Bye.